Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is a data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Because generally when we are stepping into one sort of function or whatever the kind of application whichever we are taking care. So first we have to know what is that particular thing. So here it is nothing but data science. So generally uh, whenever we just go for a different kind of data, everything it is related in the form of scientific way. Okay. And nowadays this is also a type of career which has been upgraded in uh, many of the industries like data scientist, data analyst, data processing, data mining. So this and all uh, comes under the same group. And the working is completely different, but it, everything belongs to the same for parts of function where this particular data science is also involved as a part of artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning. So once whenever we want to learn regarding this, we have to completely move on with the uh, process of machine learning because more than 70, 80 percentage, it comes under the machine learning only. So how that particular data is collected and what are the algorithms we'll be using. So we have many kinds of implementations that has to be done over here. Okay. So generally, whenever we apply a knowledge in a scientific method, for example, uh, if we are taking this particular COVID-19, so from that particular COVID-19 itself, uh, whenever we are working on that particular data set, okay, so here nowadays we can add one more column to, okay, that column is vaccination because till uh, last year, everyone was having only that particular how many of them affected, how many of them cured, okay, next we can add it as a vaccination. So here, what is the scientific data are available? Like how many of them are affected? So from that male, how much female, how much? So based on that, we will be able to filter. So for this kind of uh, collecting a data or storing a data, the most important software, it is nothing but our Excel sheet. Okay. So from that, our Excel sheet only here, we will be able to turn the complete data into a kind of raw data over there okay because so just i will show you that so here whenever i am opening the excel sheet yeah so this is nothing but that particular excel sheet uh, way many of them has been used for many kinds of purpose but with the help of this particular excel sheet only here we will be able to create the multiple data so whenever i am just providing for the save function so here I have list of process, like in which form here we have to be saved over there. Therefore workbook, macro enabled workbook, binary workbook, Excel, XML data, then uh, single web page, Excel template, macro enabled template, 97 to 2003 template, Unicode text, spreadsheet XML 2003, then comes with CSV, and uh, in CSV itself, there are three. So three is for uh, different, different uh, softwares like uh, DOS, Disk Operating System, Macintosh. Macintosh means those are using the Apple laptops. So for them, uh, it completely varies over here. So in this particular way only here, everything gets changed. Okay. So here, whatever we will be working, it is nothing but CSV. Comma delimited. So comma delimited means each and every data, whatever we are entering over there, it is separated by comma. The expansion of CSV itself, it is known as comma separated value. So based on that particular data only here, we will be able to collect it. Whatever we have given in different rows and columns. So this particular rows and columns, whatever we have entered, it comes under the scientific values because everything is integrated to the science. So for example, if you are just uh, taking regarding the food, so uh, with that particular food oriented functions means here we will be able to work in the form of the botany part or the biological part. So here we will be able to work it. The same thing if you are taking about the medical means health oriented. 
so that's also comes under the science if you are going to take among the predictions of uh, each and every kinds of parts so number of uh, working hours of each and every uh, motors or any machines so uh, that is also taken in the form of a science so all the science from that we will be taking only the scientific data over there so what is the scientific data means for example if you are taking a person's health care so the person name or let it be a person whether it is male or female no need name so male or female so that particular person here therefore we have to check the bp sugar and the cholesterol all the medical parameters so they have their own scientific values and there is a threshold value for that which the doctors used to say so that particular values means uh, this will be that minimum for bp that will be minimum for cholesterol so like that some of the threshold values are there so from that particular values only uh, they will be able to take it and that particular values it can be commonly said as the scientific values so with the help of that data there will be n number of data for example inside a hospital cell per day there will be more than 500 who are coming for the test and all okay so that particular things they will be just feeding it up over there so with the help of that particular data here we will be able to predict so in upcoming season how many of them will be how many of the male will be affected and how many of the female will be affected at present how many of them are affected with this particular diseases so based on the threshold value we will be able to separate each and everything from the comma okay so generally inside the python we will be using the python coding only over here not only here uh, here python and if you go for matlab means a mix of c c++ which also comes under the object oriented programming so that particular two softwares also has capability of reading the values with the separated of comma so from that particular value here we will be able to take that and therefore we will be able to apply it so now many of the companies are working on this particular kind of uh, data science so nothing but collecting that uh, data that is one of the job and processing the data that is another part of the job whenever we just open that particular new, uh, newspaper therefore we can see that uh, sensex uh, versions which and all that has been uh, upgraded and at the same time whenever we go for another day that particular newspaper itself they will be just posting this is our uh, sales and overall sales of all the automotive industry that also they will be posting uh, while compared to last year and this year so this and all what means they will be having n number of sales so they won't be able to collect each and everything so what they will do means they will collect the different models or different uh, companies so from that what is the total sale what is the total sale so with that they will also be able to predict in future so this year uh, next year there are many chances for this particular purpose prediction so in this predictions these are the two different situations so according to the situations the particular predictions also gets changed over here so in this way only that particular data science will be applied thank you for watching our video